you find yourself in danger when you're threatened by a stranger when it looks like you will take a licking <laughs> there is someone waiting who will hurry up and rescue you just call for super chicken but if you're afraid you'll have to overlook it besides you knew the job was dangerous when you took it he will drink his super sauce and throw the bad guys for a loss and he will bring them in alive and kicking <laughs> there was one thing you should learn when there is no one else to turn to call for super chicken <laughs> Within this museum, protected day and night by armed guards, is a remarkable object. It is the largest pearl in the world. Three priceless pounds of pink, pearly perfection. But in a dingy room over a nearby fish market is an even more remarkable object. A 148-pound oyster. Yes, in reality, the oyster is the nickname of the world's most notorious pearl thief, who uses this shell as a combination disguise and hideout. Once inside his shell, the oyster is well nigh impervious to attack. It's also a dandy place to store mushrooms. On this fateful day, the oyster entered the museum with but one goal in view. To purloin the pearl. His method was simplicity itself. My baby. Give me back my baby. Your baby, ma'am? Yes. I am that precious pearl's long-lost mommy. No kidding, are you really? Yes, I'm the mother of Pearl. I guess it's all right then. I don't know, Hornbeck. Come, come, Melville. Can we resist the mother's tears? I suppose you're right. And while the two soft-headed, hearted guards stood aside, the oyster snapped up the three-pound Pearl. Hey, that ain't no lady oyster. It ain't even a lady. It's the oyster. Get him. <laughs> As all this was occurring, Henry Cabot, Henhouse III, and Fred, who in reality are Super Chicken and Fred, were taking their morning walk. As they reached the corner... Grab him, Fred. I've got him. Here, sir, or madam, you dropped your world's largest pearl. Oh, uh, uh, thanks. Nothing like a good deed to start the day off right, Fred. Hey, you. You with the feathers. Yes, officer. Have you seen an oyster pass this way? Uh, yes, come to think of it. Why? Because that's the oyster, and he just stole the world's largest pearl. They'll never catch him, Fred. Why? Oysters are too slippery. Fred, we have inadvertently aided a criminal to escape. We? No time to explain, Fred. This looks like a job for Super Chicken. Yeah. I'll slip into the super suit. You get the super sauce. Right. Dashing into a nearby phone booth, the plucky chicken began to change his clothes. Drat these buttons. Hello. Hello. Is super chicken there? Almost. Who's this? Well, tell him when he's ready. The oyster will be waiting. Here's the super sauce. Thanks, Fred. <laughs> Little heavy on the lemon peel is... <laughs> In a matter of seconds, the simple bird was transformed into Super Chicken. Now, Super Chicken speaking. Hmm, he must have hung up. Come on, Fred. And the mighty chicken took to the air in search of the oyster. Hang on, Fred. First, we're going to search that deserted fisherman shack on the pier. And Super Chicken set his aircraft down with pinpoint accuracy. Kind of a blunt pinpoint, wasn't it? Any landing you can walk away from is a good one, Fred. Well, anyway, we know one thing. He isn't in that shack. True. What's the next move? I am going to pull him to us with my oyster magnetic beam. Watch this. Bracing himself, Super Chicken waited for magnetic contact with the oyster. Any bites yet, Super Chicken? No, not yet. <laughs> Super Chicken, you did it. That's the oyster. My oyster magnet never fails, Fred. How are you going to get him out of the shell? I'll blast him out with my lightning ray bolt. Stand back, Fred. Yeah. Sorry about that, Fred. So am I. Perhaps my tear gas fountain pen gun will do the trick. Take this, oyster. The gas pen must be in your other suit. I'm glad nobody was here to see that. Maybe the oyster isn't in there. Oysters are always in there, Fred. This is your last chance, Oyster. Give me the world's largest pearl, or I'm coming in after you with my super bare hands. Hmm. I didn't know it was a black pearl with a fuse in it. It isn't. 
That's a bomb. Nonsense, Fred. I know a bomb when I see one. Let that be a lesson to you, Fred. Never trust an oyster. He's getting away. Good. Follow me. The mighty bird followed the oyster to every fish market and oyster bar on the waterfront. Then finally on the sands of Oyster Beach. I'll teach that stupid chicken to toy with an oyster. This cannon will stop him dead in his tracks. Did you hear what he said, Fred? No, you're the one with super hearing. He said he was going to shoot us down. But don't worry, Fred. Oysters are terrible shots. Fire! Let that be a lesson, Fred. Never, Never trust, trust an, an oyster. oyster. <laughs> the fool should have known better than to cross the oyster. The pearl is mine. It's the end of the show, and Super Chicken has failed. <laughs> Super Chicken, you did it. We've got the oyster and the pearl. Like I say, Fred, lightning always strikes skin deep. The pearl went back to the museum, and the oyster went to jail to serve every month with an R in it for the next 30 years. The mighty chicken had done it again. So when you hear that cry in the sky, you'll know it's Super Chicken. Lightning always strikes skin deep.